What's up guys? So two years I've had to wait for this. This is my upgrade for my current network provider. I'm still running on an iPhone 4. So I decided to go obviously for the iPhone 5S. Now this is the 16 gigabyte uh, white and silver version. I didn't want to go for the gold version but there was, a t there was still like a two or three week waiting list on it so I decided that the 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 silver and white one was just as good plus it will match my iPad as well so anyway let's get down to unboxing this because that's obviously what you're all here to see so I have my usual knife and we are just going to make an insertion at the back here we'll put that to one side and take the cover off the box and there it is one iPhone 5s now very light feels very very nice I think this is the first time I've actually held a 5s so as you can see the silver on the back with the white at the top and on the front as well Let's see what else is in the box I'm going to pull the tab as usual and we have a piece of plastic along with the usual Apple goodies inside which will just be so I don't think there's fingertips in here anymore which is a shame uh, we have the sim card tool which I will need because I do need to put my new sim card in here so as you can see there's the tool itself and also inside we have the effectively a quick start guide which is pretty much the same as the iPad which is just like a card feel to it now uh, we have the iPhone info warranty information and the standard Apple stickers also included in the box is the new Apple earbuds which I've been keen to try out big improvement over the older style earphones which we'll get to in a second there is also an Apple standard power charge which I'm probably not really going to use because the iPad uh, I'll, I'll just use the bigger charger from the iPad and then we also have a lightning cable which is neatly tucked in the box as well again not really going to use that but I will unwrap this for you so you, you get a bit more enjoyment out of the video let's just unwrap and take that off and then I think this is just like 10 watts or something like that it doesn't actually give a wattage I think it's, it's 5 volt 1 amp something like that so this is a standard and then as I said I'll leave the lightning cable inside the box and pop some of this stuff back inside because I don't really need it I'm going to put that to one side a second and un get the iPhone 5S naked so we'll simply pull the front screen cover off which is just a screen protector and peel this off the back so in comparison to the 4 which is currently backing up which is why it's got the cable plugged in as you can see there's a bit of a size difference definitely doesn't really look much thinner but I think it is slightly thinner anyway than the old because uh, you can see on the 4 there is a bit of a an edge around there whereas it's nearly flush on the on the 5S which is good and also the famous fingerprint reader at the bottom which I'm very keen to set up and get that working but other than that, that is pretty much it. Let's just have a quick look at the Apple earbuds. I'll peel this off and then go in depth inside the box. If I can get it open anyway. So, a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, which obviously has the, um, the three terminals on there, also for the volume and microphone control. And that just simply unwraps. And as you can see, the earbuds look very very nice I'm going to keep them in the box for the time being because I do need to get the phone set up more than anything as a priority and just while my iPhone 4 backs up so there you have it pretty much guys that is the unboxing of the iPhone 5s very very nice to hold very nice feel to the back sturdy feel as always with standard Apple manufacturing and do stay tuned for the iPhone 5C unboxing video which will be coming up after this. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in another video.